Hey guys, Crypto Lazy Geek here and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to look at this, which is a tripod. And we're going to use that tripod to replace this tripod here that I have holding up my uh, Warp Astron WD-20 mount and then my Newtonian and all that stuff. Now, the thing with the tripod that I'm using right now, it's a pretty decent tripod. It is the TC40 from ZWO and I've used it with my ZWO AM5 and I'm using it with the uh, WD20. But I've been told that the tripod here, that thing, is the main limiting factor in terms of like wind resistance and stability, etc. And that I should really be using another tripod instead. And then I have a big problem in that I do not know what a good tripod is and I always get confused about like, how am I supposed to connect this mount to a tripod? Because you need like base plates and you need adapters and you need to know what you're doing and it's super annoying and I'm too lazy for all of that. And when I looked on forums like Cloudy Nights, I saw that a lot of people were actually recommending the Ioptron uh, Light Rock 1.75 inch uh, tripod together with uh, a peer, a small half peer from ZWO called the P200. I'll put links down in the description to both that thread and those two products if you're interested. But those, as far as I know, they're not super easy to get a hold of in Japan and they're not super cheap either here. And so instead, I'm going with this carbon tripod from a company called Moreblue, which is a Japanese company. And yes, you cannot buy this tripod outside of Japan. And actually, since I bought the last sample of this tripod, you cannot buy it at all. You can buy similar stuff, but not this tripod. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm taking a somewhat of a sadistic pleasure of having something on the channel that I know you cannot buy. I am so sorry. Have I lost all of my viewers already? <laughs> oh no. Uh, but. I hope if you're still there, it means you're a nerd and you're a geek, and that is a good thing. Let's look at what this tripod looks like. So this tripod is from a company called More Blue, and I'll put the links down below anyway. And it's a special edition of their tripod in that it has a thicker wall of their carbon legs. It's a carbon tripod, and the, uh, the thickness of the carbon uh, leg wall is 2 millimeters instead of 1.3 millimeters, which is usually what's used. And so they call it a special edition. And this is what we have inside. You can see it is very, very thick legs. I think it's like five centimeters or something. Yep, five centimeters thick legs. And what is really good as well is there's no like leg extension like I have on this tripod. I cannot like unscrew somewhere and then I pull the rest of the leg out. Instead, it comes with leg extensions of the same five centimeters diameter, but that you need to screw in into the tripod. And so that's how the leg extension looks like. And you screw it in to the uh, existing tripod. And so because of that, you do not get the weak spot that is like the tripod extension point. You have five centimeters throughout the range, no weak spot. It's supposed to be very, very stable. That's not all it has going for it though. It has a removable plate there with a three quarter, uh, three eighths of an inch connector there. And it's held together by three massive screws there on the side. In theory, I should be able to interchange it directly with the plate that came with the TC40 tripod for the AM5 and also compatible with the WD20. And not WD40 because it's not a greasy mount like that. Another good thing is, besides being like super uh, gotsui, like uh, Jobe, uh, uh, super solid and big and huge and magnificent, is it has an integrated spreader with a lock. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. This is so cool. Um, do, do you get the feeling I'm excited about this? If you don't, I'm excited about this. So how much did this uh, beauty cost me? So initially I bought it for around 90,000 yen. So that's like 600 US dollars. But it was supposed to come with adjusters, like level adjusters that you put at the end of the legs. One of those adjusters was no longer in stock. So they were like, we cannot sell that to you. I'm so sorry, I have to cancel your order. To which I said, whoa, 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 wait a second. I don't need the adjusters, just give it to me anyway. To which they replied, okay, but in that case, we have to make the price cheaper to 70, 72,500 yen, which is roughly 480 US dollars. 
Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Sorry, I am so excited. I haven't even tried the tripod yet. This is the first time I'm I'm using it. So besides the tripod, by the way, we do get um, a range of like hex wrenches. Always good to see that you get everything that you need with it. And also this kind of, of metal feet there. I don't know how to, to call them instead of the rubber feet. Uh, tell me in the comment which one I should be using because I never know whether I should be using the rubber feet or metal feet. What is your recommendation? Let me know down below. While you're going there, uh, leave a like on the video, leave a, a comment, I already told you that. Uh, subscribe if you're new, in which case, welcome to the channel. And if you want to really support the channel and you're planning on buying anything on like Amazon or Agena or High Point Scientific or others, you can do so after clicking one of my affiliate links down in the description. It's at no cost to you, but it truly helps the channel out. And if you're feeling grandiosely, generous you can join my channel as a member or join my patreon link down in the description you guys truly make the channel possible uh, now that you've told me in the comments i'll uh, i'll be following your suggestion later on for now i'll leave the rubber feet and we're gonna move the mount to the tripod and see how it looks like first of course i will need to remove the newt from the uh, from the mount and here we go goodbye little newt well no good not goodbye it is Oops, oops, it is only a temporary parting. Thou shalt be back. And now we have the mount which I can remove. Oops. And here we are. Then I can say a slightly less temporary goodbye to this tripod, which, which feels actually much lighter than the, the new one. The new one is roughly five kilograms, so it is definitely heavier for a carbon tripod, but it's like for five centimeters thick legs. Come on, that's amazing. So for now, goodbye for now. I'll see you later. And now let's put this here. So as always, I want to have one of my tripod legs that's pointing roughly towards the North Celestial Pole, or if I were in the Southern Hemisphere, like you guys upside down in Australia, uh, I would be using pointing one of the legs towards the South celestial pole so that we have like so that like the the weight of the equipment falls above one of the legs and i think this is going to be very very solid like the way that i'm doing this makes me think that maybe i should be using the metal points rather than or the metal feet rather than a rubber feet so actually i'm going to change them now and if you think i'm wrong let me know down in the comments like etc so for that, it's as simple as apparently unscrewing and screwing the metal point. Ooh, I hope it's not going to put a hole in my balcony. Well, I'll probably put a slab under those feet just so that I don't put a hole on my balcony, which is a big slab of wood. And there I have it on slabs of concrete. Oh man, this is going to be so stable. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, because I'm on a rooftop balcony in Tokyo, right? Tokyo has a geography that makes the wind really want to go through the Tokyo plain, so I get very strong winds very often. And because it's a rooftop balcony, I get the venturi effects between buildings, so it's like the perfect storm. Okay, let's remove the default plate that came with the tripod, which was uh, a simple 3 8 of an inch adapter, together with a little hook on the back end so that you can put some weight underneath. And now... I can put back the mount and it's going to be a perfect fit. So this is using the adapter for the uh, ZWAM5 that came with the TC40 tripod that was installed originally. Oh, wow. So usually when I did that with the TC40, I would feel some wobble. And I think the wobble came from the part where the legs extend, maybe also from the, the part at the top, but I never could fix that wobble. This does not budge whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I, I am so excited by that. Let me put back the mute on top of this. And here we are, how beautiful does this look? So I do have like the, the lock here at the bottom, but because I want to put stuff in this uh, stuff, but I'm gonna reuse that little uh, bag, I don't know how to call it, that came with the TC40 because why not? Great, and I'm gonna do exactly as I did with the TC40 because it doesn't hurt. I'm going to take this five kilograms counterweight. There we go. Okay, and now I have the newt back on it. And the biggest test is, of course, to use the, the moment arm, the lever effect by trying to move it like that. And it does 
Like there is a little bit of wobbliness, but it doesn't seem to come from the tripod. I'm not sure if it comes from the mount. I don't believe so. It may be coming from the actual tube rings. Uh, so I'm going to try to tighten, tighten them a little bit. And yes, it's better after I tighten the, the tube rings. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, in this video, I'm not going to like test it against strong winds yet, because first I need to wait for strong winds. And also second, it's not a tripod that you guys can actually buy. So I don't think it uh, deserves like a full test, but oh my gosh, is it beautiful. And there are times when I'm really glad to be in Japan. <laughs> Okay, now I hope some uh, US maker like sees this video and decides to make a similar tripod because my is it a thing of beauty. What do you think about that? Do you have any suggestions for like owners of harmonic drive mounts like the AM5 or here the WD20 in, in terms of what tripod to use on the Cloudy Night Threads for, to which I will have the link down below. I mentioned the Light Rocks tripod from iOptron already. Some have been using some tripeer uh, stuff, I think from like Avalon, if that's the right name. There might be also like one from uh, William Optics. There's also one from AliExpress that I've seen that is sometimes sold together with that, the WD-20, so it might be a good choice as well. But I'm really not sure. I'll put some random links down below, but again, I have not tested them. But I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Again, if you want to support the channel, don't forget you can do so at no cost to yourself by clicking on the affiliate links down below if you want to buy anything from Amazon or some other vendors as well. And, you know, like, subscribe, etc. But more important than all of that, don't forget whenever you can to look up at the stars. And I'll see you next time.